excavation is among the first things that you do when you want to construct a manual. Not only a manual, but if you want to do, if you want to build anything in construction, the first among the first things that you do is you need to excavate where you are going to build or where you are going to install your structures. So on today's tutorial, guys, we want to look at a manual. And specifically, we want to look at the quantity of excavation, the quantity of art that we need to excavate for us, for us to be able to get somewhere that we are going to put our, our we are going to construct our manual. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you know how we did. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to share and leave a comment. Guys, you've been very supportive, I must say that. This far I've come, it's because of you, and I'm always very grateful. Now, we, were, we have this manual here, this manual that you can see here around this place. So this manual has, is made of, down here we have a, a 100 millimeter channel here, and then we have, sorry, not down there, here we have plain concrete foundation. We have, after that plain concrete foundation, we have the walls the solid concrete block wall and then we have the waterproof and then we have the we have the channel and then on top here you can see we have the suspended slab and then we have the cover this is the cover here this is the cover at this point we have the cover now we want to see if we need to construct this manual given the size we've been told the size is 1200 by a thousand millimeter so that is external from this point here up to that point for the width it is a thousand and for the length is 1200 now depth of excavation is 1200 so that is from ground level here from ground level here up to here is 1200 this one here the depth from that point up to this point is 1200 and then now we need to find the length if you want to excavate the manual you see there is this projection here this is this concrete where we have the plain concrete from this point up to this point. It's a projection. And that projection is the one that you've been given here. It's 150 millimeters. So we are going to add whatever we have for the length, which is 1200. We are going to add projection on this side and projection on, on this side. So we are going to add to 150, that is 300, giving us 15, 1500. And on the width, it, it's a thousand. We're also going to add projection that is 250, giving us giving us 13, 1300. Now our depth, we said from this point here up to this point here is 1200. And then we have this 50 here. Up to that point, we have 50. And then you've said the plain concrete foundation bed, which is one is to three is to six. That is from this point up to this point is 1500. So we need to find the total depth. That is 1,200 plus 50 plus 150, giving us 1,400. So that is our depth. So guys, when we are, we are when we are quantifying excavation, we do it in. It's we need volume. It's volume. That is length, width, it, and the and the depth. So if we are if you are taking off the quantities, you can do a quick math. So that is the length 1.5. That is the width. It. Mm. 1.3 and that is the depth which is 1.4 if you tabulate that one we are going to get 2.2.73 cubic no yes cubic meters sorry cubic meters remember we are booking in we are booking in cubic meters so whatever we had was in millimeter we had to convert it to to meters now we say excavate pits to receive the manual starting from ground level average depth not exceeding 1.5 Remember, we book we book excavation in stages, so we have a stage of not exceeding 1.5. So anything below 1.5 is that is the first stage. If it is second stage, is between 1.5 to 3 meters, and then the last one is between 3 meters to 4.5 meters. So guys, that is how we quickly measure the volume that we need to excavate for us to be able to get. A pit where we are going to do our manual. Thank you guys for your time. Until next time, bye bye.